Hi, this is Daniel J. Lewis from the AudacityPodcast.com. Here is how to install Chris's Dynamic Compressor in Audacity 2.1.1 and later. The first thing, as you know, is go to the website, the AudacityPodcast.com slash Chris and download the file. So I've already extracted the file. I already have Audacity installed. This is the important file, the compress.ny file. We need to put this in the Audacity Applications folder. So switch over to Finder. Go to the Go menu and click on Applications, and then find Audacity. And you should have Audacity in your Applications folder, not as a special disk image that you have to open every time. Go to the Plugins folder, and then we drag this right in there. Then launch Audacity, and you need to do that stuff before launching Audacity. In Audacity, go to the Effect menu, go to Manage, then look for either Compress Dynamics, or it might be simply Compress. In this case, it's listed on my computer as Compress Ampersand Dynamics, and it's disabled. The main thing you're looking for is you want to see this Compress.ny here on the right. It might be all the way at the bottom. It might be called something other than Compress Dynamics. It might be simply Compress. But click on that, and then click Enable. Now click OK. Now when we go to the Effect menu, Compressed Dynamics is there and available when we've got some recorded audio and select that Compressed Dynamics is there and then we can use Chris's Dynamic Compressor. On the Windows side of things, again, download the zip file, unzip it, open it on your computer like I've already done here. We need to go to the Audacity Programs Files folder. So type in C colon backslash program files and then click on the program files x86 folder. That's where Audacity installs by default as of this current version. Go to the Audacity folder, then the plugins folder, and drag the compress.ny file into this folder. And it might ask you for a password as you move it over, and then launch Audacity. In Audacity, do the same thing here. Go to the effects menu, click on manage, find either compress dynamics or it might be listed as compress, and it might be at the very bottom of this list. But wherever it is, look for that compress.ny here. Click on Enable. Click OK. And now when we record some sample audio, select it. We have Compress Dynamics inside of the Effects menu right there. That's how you install and enable Chris's Dynamic Compressor on Mac OS X or Microsoft Windows with Audacity version 2.1.1 and later. I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the AudacityToPodcast.com. Thanks for watching.